Hi there, this is Rahul Inchal and today I am here to discuss uh, the exploratory data analysis on IMDB data set and uh, without wasting much of a time. So I've cleared the uh, output of a entire entire cell and um, uh, while I am explaining the what am I going to do in this cell, uh, simultaneously we can uh, check the output for that. Okay. Now this is the description for that and also we have some sort of questions for that. I'm going to answer those with the help of the uh, Python uh, Python in um, programming. So first and foremost things, we are importing some important packages that is uh, NumPy as NP, Pandas as PD, Seaborn as SNS and uh, Matplot, uh, uh, from Matplot um, importing Pyplot as PLT and then I am filtering out all the um, or I am ignoring the warnings. Okay. So I just run this. Yeah, that is done. And then I am loading the data set and then I am uh, trying to uh, see the first five rows of it. So this is, these, these are my, um, uh, columns in the data set, which I have, which I'm going to filter out because there are a lot of columns which are unnecessary and I don't want to burden the machine by giving a load of, um, the data set. Okay. So first a part is uh, cleaning the data set. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, check for the, um, null values. So we have a lot of null values in here, but then again, we are not going to see the entire, uh, we are not, we are dropping some of the columns, right? So that's why this doesn't make sense. So what we are going to do now, I'm going to see the shape of it. So 5,043 cross 28 columns are there. All right. So now instead of dropping the columns, I'm taking only those columns which are required and I'm storing it into DF. That is director name, number of critic reviews, gross, uh, genre, actor, one name, movie title, num voted user, num user for reviews, language, budget, title year, IMDb score, movie, Facebook likes. Okay. Now, now you can see, now you can see there are like, uh, now this is the data description guys. You can like definitely read it out. So I have just, um, yeah, um, yeah. Now, now let's check for the shape. So again, we have a shapes again, I have uh, reduced the columns, not the rows Ro rows. We are going to sort it out once we are handling the null values. Fine. So now I have like 13 columns left. Now I'm checking for the null values and I am uh, sorting it in the form of descending order. All right. So that is ascending is equals to false, which means it, it is going to sort me in the form of descending order. So, which means like gross has the most number of null values, which are, which we are, which ha we have to take care of. Definitely similarly goes for budget title here and those are fine. And if now these are, these are my column null values. And if I want to see uh, the row null values, if I want to see the road null value, I just have to change one thing that is I have to change the axis zero from one. So by default, the Python takes it as axis zero. Uh, if you want axis one, that is rows. So I have, we have to mention axis one. So if I run this, so which says that two, three, four, three, uh, or rather the row number 2,342 has uh, six, uh, six, uh, six rows, which is uh, six columns, which is uh, null. Fine. So similarly, like there are like these, uh, these all are the things. Okay. Now keeping only values, uh, keeping only values, which are not null for gross and budget column. Okay. Which means gross and budget column. I'm dropping out all the null values. Reverse case. What can happen is I'm only taking out those values, which which are having some values, which are not null values. So that is what I'm trying to do in here, which is not, uh, not any -A, 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 a means not null values. All right. So if I run this, I have run this now, if I want to check, so my, uh, you can see my gross and budget has been, uh, now they don't have any, uh, null values. So I have only have these null values. Okay. Now checking for the null values in the actor one column. So we can see like actor one column is null for this. So what we can do, um, what we can do. Mm, yeah. So what, what, what we can do for this is, uh, we can like simply, simply drop those because only three, three columns are there. Okay. Okay. So I have dropped this null values in here. Okay. So I have dropped these null values in here. Okay. So I've just like noted it down. I did not drop the null values in here. So I'm, I'm dropping all the null values together. I don't have to write for each column, right? So that's why I did not drop it here, but I'm dropping the uh, null, null values from actor one name. 
fine so let's consider for the language column language column has three null values right so we can see now how many values are there like how many value counts are there for the language so we can see there are like majority of the uh, um, majority of the rows which have english english uh, value so what we can do is we can replace the null values with the english as well so i have replaced this none value and again if i can see so actor one name is there i did not drop it so language it is gone right so now now i only have one uh, uh, num critic for reviews so let's see what is the uh, null value for the num critic uh, so this is the one which is num critic again these are very small value uh, these are very small number of rows they are there who are null values we, and we can blindly drop those okay now if now again the first insight was, would never be to drop the null values as it is like wh whatever there are because if you drop all the null values there will be hardly any rows will be left okay so that's why we are doing that okay so yeah one more thing one more thing so what did i do was uh before dro before uh, dropping this one also value so what what i i did was i tried to find the mathematical answers for uh, the num critic uh, for review column so uh, what did i find out is the the mean is 163 and 50% is nothing but the standard deviation guys okay 50% is nothing but the standard deviation which or uh, not the standard deviation median okay i beg your pardon so 134 is the median and 163 is the mean so we which means mean is more uh, let's check for the box plot and let's check for the outliers okay now the, it has some outliers and um, based on the first instance i do not find any reason to replace the value so i have dropped entire thing so i have uh, run this cell so let's see um, if we have some null values or not df dot is null is null dot sum so there are no null values in here now everything is sorted so every null values has been dropped out but now we have to take care of the duplicated values right there there may be a lot of duplicated values let's check it so yes there are like 35 uh duplicate values are there which we have to drop so i've tried to draw the graph for that as well there are like very minute quantities there but then again we have to drop the uh, null uh, duplicated values so i've dropped those uh, duplicated values by this and then i'm trying to find out the shape for that now finally i have the data is cleaned now and now finally i have a 3 8 5 2 uh, rows and 13 columns fine so now if i want to describe this and this is my describe and then if you want to see the null values entire null values has been taken care of entire duplicated values is being taken care of fine now the um, data is already is very much ready for the visualization now first question what it is asking um, from me is uh, movies with highest profit all right movies with highest profit now what i can do is now profit so for for that what i can do i'll just try to you have dot head so see how do i come across with the profit guys now see there is one column called gross okay one column called gross a uh, gross is which means how much uh the money uh, how much uh the movie has earned fine after its release and i have one more column called budget which means how much money it has taken the movie has taken so how much like profit or revenue how you are going to generate it when you minus the um, gross value with the budget value right so that is what i did and i've stored it i've created one more column called df profit so and i've stored that uh, the difference of gross and budget onto that fine so what i did get what did i get here the profit column is being added and now guys this is not sorted okay now this is the normal way this is not sorted so don't worry so profit column is being added on him all right now 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 am i going to sort this value so how am i going to sort this is df dot sort value profit with the axis zero axis zero is the rows right in ascending uh, in ascending no i want in descending order which means the top value of profit has to be in the first right so the most profitable movie has to come first and the last and and followed by the uh, less profitable so this is what i did so which we can see so profit is most this one like i don't know i i don't want to spell it so james cameron that is avatar right so avatar fine so avatar is the one a movie which has earned a lot fine so let's let's uh, take the first 10 value which for which i've used iloc 
slicing. So first 10 values is this Avatar has earned like this much Jurassic World and then followed by Titanic. So you can see uh, Avatar and Titanic is produced or um, a director by the same uh, uh, director that is James Cameron. And then we have Star Wars and then uh, Extraterrestrial, the Av Avengers, the Lion King, Star Wars, the Dark Knight, the Hunger Games. Okay. Now let's now these are my keys. Okay. These are my keys. And uh, if I want to plot the graph for it, now these are my graph top 10 highest profitable after you can see they're like, and this is, this is, this is 10 raised to power eight guys. Okay. This is scientific notation. This means 10, 10 raised to power eight. Now this is the graph for it. The top 10 profitable, highest profitable movies of the, uh, those years, fine. Those data. Now this is my observation. Now next question comes out to be top 250. Now I want to find the IMDB top 250 and store the 250. You can read this question. Okay. Now, now one more condition they have given is the num voted user should be greater than 25,000. So what did I do first is, so I have taken from DF, from DF, I've taken num voted uh, zeros or uh, num voted users more than greater than 2500. And I've stored this information, stored this data set onto a new data set, which I have created. That is IMDB top 250. Okay. So I want to see the head of this. Now you can see num, um, where is the num, many this one, num voted review, right? So where is the num voted review? Yeah, this one. So if you can see this column, every column, every row, is the is greater than 2500 or 25000 okay now i have satisfied only one condition now what i will do i will sort the indexes okay now sort the values in terms of imdb fine that is what i want to find my main goal is to find the imdb top 250 right so i have sorted it out imdb top 50 to sort values imdb score axis 0 ascending false and i stored that again into the imdb and then if i want to see I can see in here that the IMDB score is 9.3, 9.2, and then it is going down. Fine. So what we can see is uh, the Shawshank Redemption uh, is a movie which, with which uh, the uh, the entire like the most um, IMDB score is there. The highest score is there. Fine. So now I am now this this if I, if you want to see if you want to see the um, shape of it, you can definitely see the shape. So this is like 2000 or uh, 2,609, but I don't want 2,609. I want top 250. So again, I've used top uh, I lock uh, slicing uh, to get that. And then also I have, um, uh, I have only extracted movie title and IMDb score because I don't want the entire data set. That's why. So I've taken this. So which you can see, these are my top 250, uh, 250 rows, which has the value of imdb scores okay and also it is being sorted if the if the imdb scores are same it has automatically sorted itself with the uh, first alphabet sorted in terms of alphabets all right with the movie title so shawshank redemption godfather godfather part 2 and goes on okay so this is what it is now if i want to um, again like i'm i'm uh, now i'm grouping it with by guys okay now this is one major concept which i have learned and i want to discuss it with you group by i have we we must have used group by in the in um in in the sql right but here we are using group by to group all those imdb so i'm grouping it imdb scores with movie title which means you can see okay yeah so see so this these are 7.9 7.9 uh you can see 7.9 imdb score is there for these these many movies and similarly goes on to uh 9.3 shawshank redemption godfather 9.2 uh 9 uh, imdb scores are there who are like dark knight lord of the uh, lord of the rings and these these movies okay now i have grouped these things but i want to plot the graph for the top uh 250 right so i have did plot the graph for top 250 which you can see but it will take some time because i have entirely taken the top 250 see i have entirely taken the top 250 so you can like watch it or if you want only top 10 just like mention dot i lock and then you you are good to go you can mention here i lock i lock uh okay so let's copy this we'll get the scores here as well Okay, so you can see since my size is too much, that's why I see like only so one, two. Okay, let's me let me change the size as well. 
let's let's make it 10 okay so these are the things okay but i don't want that i want the entire value so i will keep it like that only so please don't mind okay so yeah now next question will go for the extract all the movies in the imdb top 50 which are not in english language okay which are not in english language so what i will do i will take the same data set okay i have from the same data set i will um, take the english uh, which is not english take the language which is not english and i will store it in non english so if i want to run this so see if if you want to see the language in here uh yeah language so italian japanese portuguese japanese german so all those uh, movies whose language is not english will be in this data set okay not non english data set from if i want to see the shape of it there are like 38 rows which means not which means there are 38 movies but there will be 38 movies but yeah whatever it is okay so if you want to plot the graph for that as well so you have the uh, the good the good the bad and the ugly uh seven samurai city of god so these are these are all the movies okay with the top um you can see these are the movies with the non-english uh, language okay so this is my one one uh observation or this is the answer for that question now next question is top director top best director we have to find again i am taking the now i am not taking the uh, uh the uh, uh imdb top 250 because i want to find the imdb scores of the director now i am not taking the top 250 okay i am concerned about the df so that's why i've taken the df i've grouped it by uh, director name with IMDb, imdb score and i've find, found out the mean of that now why did i found out the mean because james cameron we can see like just now we have seen an instant that james cameron has two movies right one is avatar and one is titanic or avatar and titanic right so i'm not sure um so let's see yeah avatar and titanic fine so he, this guy has two movies so there may be many directors who have more than like one movies so they they and two movies will have two uh, two imdb scores so that's why i'm taking the mean of their uh, imdb scores that's why i've grouped it by with the uh yeah grouped it by with the director name and then i find found out the mean score mean of imdb score and i have reset the index and also i have sorted it down from top 10 and then i'm uh, finding the value of top 10 so which we can see tony kai uh k whatever you want to pronounce it so imdb score is like 8.6 the mean imdb score is 8.6 charlie uh, charles chaplin is there 8.6 uh majid majidi is there 8.5 similarly you can see all those things okay now we can see ss rajamoli is also there with 8.4 maybe rrr or bahubali i don't know remember okay so yeah so you can see this is the observation or this is the graph which we can make again you can see the like almost same but these are all different values you can see like 8.6 8.6 8.5 8.5 okay now these are the things now okay now there are no duplicate i don't know why did i do this yeah let's see Let's see for the next question that is popular genre. I again now popular genre, I will get it from IMDb top 250, right? So from that from there, I'm sorry, I'm again like grouping it with my genres with IMDb scores and finding out the mean of those. Okay. So if I I, I found out the mean score of that, that is crime, drama, fantasy, mystery. Now these are the genres which has the most IMDb scores. Okay. Similarly, all goes on. And this is my um observation and this is the visualization you can see okay so next question now what do we have is now this is a tricky questions okay now you need to understand now create a three column namely meryl meryl streep uh leonardo dicaprio uh, brad pitt okay so i have created uh three columns okay and from the df okay not from the imdb 250 the difference has to be very clear uh from the df actor name i've only taken the meryl streep's wali movie and then i've stored it in meryl streep similarly for leo Di uh, leo caprio and for similarly for brad pitt okay i've run this and if i want to see the head now Okay, this is only the DF. So now I am appending. Now I have to append the value, which means now what do you mean by append the values, guys? Like in the question, if you read, we we are supposed to find, uh, we are supposed to append the rows of all these columns and store them in a new column named combine. Okay, so we have to store them, right? So I'm. Uh, so what did I do? Like I have taken combine. I have taken the Meryl, Meryl Streep first, and then I have appended the values of Leo Caprio and Brad Pitt. 
okay now if i want to see the head for that now see combined is one new uh thing so which we can see from here so i have uh you can see so after one name you will find so okay let's let's try to uh, find the unique value for that okay so dot um rather i have to take the actor one name right so actor one name dot unique so you can see Mail Strip, DiCaprio, and Brad Pitt. Only three values I have sorted it down and put, uh, and I have I've only uh, stored it in the combined value. Okay. Now from there, now from there, what? Um, yeah. So these are the unique values. Okay. Now, okay. So now we have to find the mean of IMDb score. If you want to read the question for it, find the mean of the num critic review. Find the mean of num critic for review and num user review. Fine. This is what which we have to find for those three people. Okay. So for that, what did I do? Uh, so uh, first, if you want to see uh, the okay, just I'll just show it to you. Uh, combine, right? Combine. I just copy combine dot info. If you see the info of it, so you can see the uh, num num user has a data type of uh, obj object and also num critic. If you can see num critic num critic also float fine now this both we have to change it into the int so that we can find the mean value fine so that's why i did change the num uh, uh, from combined num critic review combined num, num critic review i have again like um, stored it in the same same variable as type into int i have stored that and now i am finding the mean of it now i am grouping, grouping it with by actor one name num critic for review so if i found find like what am i going to get for that is brad pitt has 245 uh, uh, reviews uh, by critics uh, uh, leo has uh, uh, 330 uh, from the uh, uh, critics and mel strip has 181 fine similarly it goes same with the uh, uh, num user for reviews okay so i, I want to change the data type of uh, from float to int so I've changed that. Now I'm finding the mean value of it. So I'm again getting the mean value of it. Okay. So if I want to plot the graph of it or rather like I've combined both the things. Okay. Now I've combined both the things. And if I want to, yeah, plot the graph of it. Now these are the graph. So we can clearly see that uh, Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio has the most value. Okay. Leo has the most value. So this is what it is guys. Okay. So yeah. Fine. So if you want to see, yeah, next question is next question. What we are supposed to do? We are supposed to find the, um, okay, where is the question? Okay. Observe the, yeah. See, observe the change in numbers. What it, okay. I'll, what I'll do is I'll just copy this. I'll just paste it in here. Or rather I'll just. Yeah. Observe the changes in number of voted you uh, users over decade using a bar chart. Okay. So again, like we have to see the bar chart. So what did I do in here is um, I've taken the, uh, what did I do? Yeah. I've again changed the title here with the uh, int fine, because uh, we have to change the title. Um, we have to change the data type of it. So in order for us to make the mathematical calculation now in here, what did I do? This is very important uh, concept guys. So what did I do? Title year, I have uh, taken out the floor value. If you are familiar with the floor value, it comes on to the, like it gives the value nearest to the 10 tens. Okay. That is what I've done. And then I've grouped it with by num voted users. And then I have found out the sum of it and then reset the index. So I found these values. 1920, I have like this 11,000 or 116,392 reviews. Similarly, it goes on. Fine. So now for that, I've tried to plot the graph of it. So I've got the graph as well. So it is increasing in 2000. It is the most. And then it went down to uh, in 2010. Fine. So I hope that you guys have understood. And this is my short analysis report on the IMDB data set. And you will definitely find this uh, data set and uh, the Python notebook and everything which is related to this project onto my GitHub account uh, that is mentioned. Uh, like again like if you want me to mention that here i will mention that as well in here okay so just uh give me so github right git up so i'll just change this to markdown and i'll just paste 
yeah so this is the link which i have given and in this link entire uh, entire uh, project details are there fine so i'll hope i hope that you guys have understood and uh, i'll meet you with the next report uh, till then take care bye bye